So first I'm going to talk a little bit about base. When you have to approach somebody who is already doing work, you might be laying down or sitting, you're going to start sitting. One thing that I have been doing a lot, not much more than uh, one thing that I have been doing a lot is making sure uh, when I'm standing, I have the proper base. I have been very with paying a lot of attention on how I position myself. Okay? One thing you have to start is make your base low and making sure your elbows close to your knee here. Because when you approach and somebody's maybe trying to put a hook and everything, that would be very useful preventing those hooks to come in. So you want to have your base, just like a wrestler had here more or less, if you have your foot on the same line, you're going to be out of balance on both directions. Also this, this is good base for side, but if you stay right here, the chance of you getting swept one way or the other is very big. The same way if you stay here, the chance of you losing the balance one way or the other is big. So this is what I have been trying to do. Coming close, coming inside, blocking. Okay? A lot of times, I look for the collar just to have this as a pose, something that is not going to be moving my arm too much. And I have this blocking this, like preventing moves. Okay? I like to come with the other hand, not to make him comfortable with that I and keep it close to his uh, butt over here. The moment I hold and the lower I hold the better leverage I will have, I keep it close to his butt, I close it here, and that's how I approach, approach at first. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. Imagine now that he's sitting up and I need to come in. So I'm going to come with that hand towards the collar over here. I'm keeping that base and I walk in. Right away I'm blocking and making sure that hook is not working, it's not being active over here. Okay? Notice that I'm not putting my knees on the ground, I'm keeping this base and I'm keeping this over here. Now once you have this, I'm going to start to direct that hook this way. And as soon as I put it this way, I will make sure to control his hip and force him sideways. Notice how the moment I put him like this, I'm coming with my knee and prevent him from being flat again on his back. And the fact that he's facing this way and uh, with the body up, not flat, is going to give me more possibilities of holding him and less options for him to attack me. I'm putting him in a defensive position. So we're going to start just with this approach and moving him this way. So imagine he's sitting, I'm coming inside, blocking, holding the shin as I come and position over here. It's almost like I'm putting this hook over here. But I'm moving him sideways, controlling the hip, I'm squeezing, pinching my legs together. I have this control and we're going to go later from there. But let's just start with this motion, okay? Please try.